Okay. Hey, six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Oh. Hi, everybody. This is Professor D, and I am live and direct from Ghana, West Africa. Uh, behind me is the uh, National Theater, um, and I just wanted to say a quick little hello, and hopefully you can hear me okay. It's pretty loud in here. Uh, but that's the team at the coffee shop that I spent a lot of time in where I'm here. So I just wanted to respond to some of your... Uh, post on the discussion board. Uh, one thing that I would ask you to do is make sure to answer the questions individually so that it's easier for your classmates and I to respond. Uh, Yu Cheng, you posted human presence should be around 30% uh, because there still are people that do not know how to use express check-in. Uh, Jessica and Dung, you said 50% or so. And Georgina Ann, you said, being checked in by a person would result in best outcome. So one of the things that I thought of based on your comments was this idea of maybe establishing a, uh, a ratio. So if you have so many uh, guests or rooms, that you have a ratio of maybe 20 rooms to one staff member, 10 rooms to one staff member. Uh, but so there's always going to be a human presence. Um, let's see, I'm trying to give you a little bit of a perspective of Ghana. This is Ghana. That's outside. It's probably going to rain. This is all right next to the National Theater. And this is the National Theater right here. You can look it up and you can say that that's where, the, uh, where I was. So it's a little, little windy out here. Um, Zhen suggested how in China one can leave their wallet at home and pay for everything uh, with their phone. Sorry, it's a little windy here. Uh, are there any places like that in the U.S.? So think about that. Uh, Lisa talked about older people or those who struggle with technology. You know, if you have a hotel that's super, super technological, maybe they're not going to be so great with the technology. I think of my mom who struggles with her phone. Uh, she would not be able to really handle um, a kiosk set up. So that's something to consider. Noah said, I just think how beneficial it would be for people with reservations if they were informed beforehand now that their rooms were ready. Well, you're in luck. Uh, there are apps for that. There are some hotels that are rolling that out. Check out No Wait, which is actually for restaurants, but they will notify you by text when your table is ready. So why couldn't we do the same thing for rooms? Uh, Matthew said, it is not a good idea to solely rely on technology to run the hotel industry. I completely agree. And Kevin went a little bit farther, expressing a fear. Uh, will jobs be phased out entirely? Now, if you've seen the movie WALL-E, then you know that uh, there is that per perception or that perspective that things are going to change so much so that nobody does anything. Uh, but so long as we have a need for human contact, a need for human interaction, then we can count on people, especially in hospitality, to deliver those services. Uh, think of how important the human contact is when things go wrong, when you lose something, when you get hurt. Uh, that's why nurses are always going to be required, but surgeons might be phased out because a robot can do it better. So we'll keep talking about this. Anyway, I just wanted to say, say hello from Ghana. Uh, I'll be back in the States in about a week, but I will be in contact via email if you need me. And I look forward to our conference call next Sunday night. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.